Welcome back to another basic Game Maker Studio tutorial and one of my patrons asked me how to implement a system like you see in Goof Troop. So if you don't know this game, basically you just play Goofy and what's the other guy? Don't know his son, his bastard kid, who knows? I don't know, I'm not so familiar with these characters. And then what they do, they just push some blocks and kill some baddies and i wanted to show how you can actually do this in game maker studio of course this is not a complete version i will show you a few more approaches at least in theory so you understand how you can actually elaborate on that but this is just the principle so you can uh, press those blocks on this well system of mine which is extremely rudimentary for example press here this thing will go for infinity so uh, just keep that in mind so stay tuned this is one up indie i am the developer of the indie game clunky souls and a programmer slash pixel artist so if you are new here and you definitely want more consider subscribing to my channel because i try to upload every second day every day a video and share my stuff that would be pretty much sweet so let's get right into the good stuff so you can understand what is actually going on so what you're seeing in front of you is part of my um, patreon only top-down engine and here i just wanted to show you a quick part of it because well uh, there's more to the eye because the engine is a little bit well it's based on tile sets and all that stuff so here do we have we have some collisions with tile sets not gonna go into it here we just do it a little bit more easy of course uh, the final version which I'm gonna release tonight with the push mechanics um, will of course be a little bit more elaborate but here you just need to have well let's say uh, a block which is static so these are these guys and they are instances so bam just blocks what do they do let's go into it nothing they don't do anything here we just have let's say this block which is moving here we have some code I will go into some details and the player is pressing one button which I call just push so this is just for the keyboard so let's go into my script I'm just saying hey are you pressing the P button and you release it because check pressed and then we do some checks and those checks are just collision lines so just imagine it like this let's make it so easy first of all we have this guy and this system is by far not the one which I'm gonna go and do in, on this engine but here what I'm gonna do I will give this dude some lines so let's go for white and from his center point so this is here we go up down left right and then for example we are walking around and we are pressing our push button and then for example saying hey on this line we have a collision suite Oh Jesus, yeah. Um, then <laughs> we push theoretically this block to the right. And for example, if this guy is here, then this thing will fly to the left. And this is just basically it. And those blocks have two states. One is idle. Of course, you don't have to do this. This is a little bit overkill. But then when they are in the idle state, they do nothing. In the step event. And then for example, if you're moving, then they move around. Then they're checking for collisions with those blocks and for example once they're hitting a block they say like eh, we are done here not moving and then you can stick to it and for example then this block can be pushed to the right and up and then well you land on the switch and then you open a door or whatever you like to do with this kind of mini puzzle so this is the system behind it of course there are more sophisticated ways how to do it for example you have to maybe um, not do this with this collision lines because this is a, a very inefficient system for example if you're a little bit in the middle you can actually push both so basically this is definitely not good but for starters a good thing what you could do is then for example if your animation is showing to the right then you're pressing to the right and you're pressing your push button then well uh, kick this um, block or whatever that is to the right and this would be a more sophisticated way but i don't want to confuse you with all that stuff let's make it the easy way so here we go into the player and here this 
line looks extremely long and extremely complicated, but it's not. It's really easy. So what I'm doing here, I'm just saying, hey, in once, we, for example, once we push our great push button, then we make uh, well one check, and then of course there are four because one to the right, one to the left bottom and top and therefore I just say this variable collision right then we're just saying saying hey on a line collision line from our starting point to well x to the right so this is plus 10 and then with what our block we want to kick so if that thing is just not no one we say hey great because here now we store the variable give it a direction and the direction is because it's to the right it's zero for example if you kick it to the left then the direction is 180 so this is on the other side so I understand this number then give it some speed and what is the speed well the speed which is inside this block which I didn't show you so here to initialize we just need two variables one for the state and one how fast that thing is moving and therefore we're just saying once again once we have uh, just this collision, we give it a direction where to go, how, what kind of speed it's going to have. We take the inbuilt one. Of course, I could just say one. This, of course, looks neater, but maybe you have a different speed. God knows. Um, and then we give it a specific state, which was move. And then, of course, we do the same. Uh, well to collision left and then we say hey draw make a collision line and but this time from well again our, our x and y position but this time minus 10 so we go to the left and because well if we go into the uh, game i am drawing four lines once one is going to the right to the left and so you have this crosshair thingy here let's make it really big and therefore you see this is the line for the collision to the right, to the left, top and bottom. And therefore, we do the same stuff. But here, for example, well, we go to the top. Then we just we are not going for the x position. We go for the y minus because while well, we are going upwards, and then if we are having a bottom collision, y plus. And this is just basically it. And then if we pass in well uh, a direction which is every time different. So for example down uh, upwards is 90 and downwards is 270 of course the speed is always the same so we can go for one if you like but this is just well we're taking the stuff how far it can move because maybe one block is is an ice block it can move faster but maybe you have a different block which is like a little rock block and then it's heavier and therefore you could make different kind of iterations on that depending on what kind of speed they are having so this is a modular thing if you like and here we are basically finished with the guy so he's just uh, having a collision and then sending the block to its destiny so here once again the block two variables a state and the push speed and then we have a step event and then for example we're saying hey are you in the idle state then we say exit this you don't have to do but this is i guess a good practice because um, if we are in the idle state, then we say, hey, all the code here, not going to check it because we say exit after that. Nothing is happening because it's just saying, hey, not worth checking the rest. And we are saving some resources. Of course, this is not a lot, but well, no problem. So what are we doing in our move state here? We're just checking for a collision with our brown block. So once we are, well, going let's say direction to the right so this is zero and then with our speed of one right then at some point we're hitting this block and then we want to it to stop so how can we do this well we do a collision rectangle with our b box left top right and bottom and for example i have a little thing which i added here but let's say for example we kill that so we actually see what's actually going on so maybe this is looking a little bit confusing so what's happening here uh, come on we're just saying hey if we are moving then we're checking for a collision rectangle and then if this whole thing is returning one so for example we are having a collision then we say hey state is idle because well we cannot move any further and then of course we need to get 
the speed and set it to oh well, we just set the speed to zero so it's not moving so let's say for example we do this and then you will see a little effect which is not too nice but it does already work so let's zoom in so it does look better yay 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 so we're pushing to the right and then you will see wait a second oh let's zoom and as you can see it's one pixel in which we don't want for example we push it up come on push it up oh we are colliding so we are already uh, locked damn so we are already in a collision and we cannot move it this is of course bad so what do you do uh, you make a little in advanced collision and then you're saying hey if we are colliding plus our speed let's say to the right or up or whatever then we hold it and then we are in the exact spot where we want to be therefore i have these little variables here uh, which are called x left right bottom and top and for starters they are just zero but let's say we are flying to the right direction then we are, then we say our x right this variable and set it to push speed which was in the end just one same thing for let's say if we're flying to the left then we have uh, our left bounding box plus this variable x left which is then minus one so we are going from the left box minus to the left bam and then the same stuff for all the other ones bounding box top plus plus a y top if we are flying up and so on but if not these values are all zero we are just checking the border so once again um this dude let's go up here has a bounding box or oh, let's go for actually the box so basically this box has a bounding box and this is the left and then we're just checking plus one and then this is what i do or for example we are, we are flying to the left and we're plus one or the, the the movement speed which we're having and the same we do here and then if we're hitting this point we say hey stop it and then well it's not moving this is how it works so these are just those variables so you understand so let's try it out and it should work hopefully it does work didn't mess it up but i guess not so i'm pressing p yay it goes up and as you can see correct position because we are just checking for we are checking for our collision plus one because this is this is bounding box right plus one and this is for example bounding box top minus one so let's press it up if it does work and as you can see it does work and for example now i'm pressing i can only uh, well because i <laughs> i can clip through everything i can push it down and of course this thing will run for infinity because i didn't actually do any other code so here fly my friend you are free so this is how you can do this of course there are a little bit more um, nuanced ways how you can actually set up the system concerning when and how the pushing is i just did it with the let's say the easiest way with this kind of crosshair here so it doesn't matter how you stand this dude will always um well push those things nevertheless and of course he will always push it in the right direction because well if you're standing let's say left from this box he box he will always push it to the right which is pretty sweet so it doesn't really matter for example if you're doing like this you're doing a back kick <laughs> or whatever uh, not the optimal way but a good starter and then you can of course elaborate how you can do the rest so that was pretty much it for today and um, for the patrons this stuff will be ready tonight and again i guess the video as well if not tomorrow so have a good one one up indie